Welcome back to this new Pizza the Raid tutorial and today we want to go to the pool. Let's go. Okay, here we are in a fresh plunder scene and let's kick this cube out of the scene. Let's import here our cottage. Let's go to FBX. I want to use here this modern cottage FBX, the 2021. Now we can see that we have a lot of stuff here in our scene. So let's put all this into a new collection, which we will underscore underscore cottage and to move this around we have to create a plane axis let's put this here into the cottage and i want to select everything and deselect the empty by pressing ctrl and then we can drag and drop with the shift key all in the empty and now we can move around the whole stuff so I'll let's select the empty and we want to go with 15 in the x now we can rotate here our rust to minus 90. Let's go into the camera view and we want to change uh, this camera view here to minus 9.5, uh, 1.7 and 1.5. Let's go with uh, 92 by 0 and minus 90. That's our camera view here for today. And let's go ahead with some shading. I go into the render mode and hide here the light we can bring in here an hdri let's go ahead here and select the folder and i want to create a new world node i want to use again here the kiara one dawn let's go with this one and i want to change the strength to 0.05 and then we are going here into our camera view let's change the z value to uh, minus 73.8 so the sun is here on the left side uh, after this let's go here with uh, the gray material which is uh, yeah on the most uh, objects here in our cottage so select one and then you have the gray material let's change this or let's tweak this here let's leave uh, the base color to grayish and let's go with a specular uh, of 1.1 and i want to change the roughness to 0.13 let's go ahead here with the water and let's turn the base color to something grayish down something like this but we don't want to have any color let's go into the hsv and change the S to zero and I want to go with a specular of 0.5 and uh, turn the, all the roughness down yeah and as we can see we have here some reflections going on but we can uh, improve this by going into the EV settings and enable screen space reflections and by the way we can enable ambient occlusion and bloom and now we want to go for the windows let's select one of these and we have already a glass material on let's go ahead here now and turn this to something nearly whitish yeah to make this a little bit more window like we have to use uh, the the screen space refraction so enable this one but yeah nothing fancy will happen because we have to enable here the refract reflect refraction as well and now when we are increasing here the transmission we can see a little bit more through our window but for this cottage i want to hide here these um yeah these walls inside so we have a little bit more light in this so let's go into the empty here and we can search here for walls and hide them that's a little bit better I want to make this as fast as possible um, I don't want to put any stuff here inside so um, let's make here a <laughs> quick change for uh, the materials want to change the specter here to 0.5 and let's put here a noise a noise texture on the roughness channel uh, as I said when you have some stuff to put inside uh, the cottage you can do this and yeah you can skip this part okay now we are having here um, some roughness going on on the windows maybe uh, when we are want to change here the roughness we can add here a color ramp 
and have a little bit more control over it maybe we will change this later but that's okay for now one important thing is when we are adding later here the light so maybe i will show you this really quick and we want to put the light over here later in our window so let's put this a little bit down we can see that we are having um yeah no uh, no light uh, going through to make this possible we have to go into the shadow mode and change this to none yeah that's a little bit fakey but <laughs> that's okay for now and yeah we can go ahead now and change uh, the light here for this one so uh, i want to change this light here to uh, area light and we can uh, change the color to something like this i want to leave everything like it is but i want to change the rectangle to square and go with 1.8 let's enable the contact shadows and uh, let's put this to the right place now let's go here with 13 by minus 5 by 4 and i want to put all the stuff to zero here right now and <laughs> i forget to increase the power to 10,000. Okay, that's cool. And now let's go ahead with a second light. Let's search here for uh, sunlight. And I want to change this uh, to uh, yeah, a nearly orangey light that will fit here to our scene. Let's turn this down to 0.5. And I want to go with the angle of 20. Uh, let's change this now here to rotation which is 135 by minus 260 by minus 115 and now we are having here this light coming from the left yeah maybe let's go ahead and i want to show here something uh, when we are going into the camera <laughs> into the viewport display and Increase the passport two to one. Um, I thought it's a little bit empty here in the, especially here in the left. To m make here a little bit more interesting, uh, we can add here some stuff. So, and yeah, we can create a new scene here now. Let's uh, delete the cube, and I want to import a new FBX, which will be yep, here the uploads files palm. Let's go here with the source and palm FBX and yeah when we are going into the material preview we can see that everything is messed up as always so let's do this really quick uh, we have two materials on this the relinking does not work uh, so we have to delete everything and bring in here the materials from this let's put all the the ao and the normal map here inside and i want to put the ao into the uh, base color maybe let's go a little bit here zoom in and i want to use a mix mix rgb and bring this to multiply to one and now we can set here a little um oh, brownish brownish color something like this and i want to use here a normal sorry normal map and put this color into this color and this into the normal maybe let's increase this to two now we have the bark let's go ahead here with the second one let's delete uh, delete the normal and let's bring in the leaf the ao uh, the, and the normal and the specular as well Okay, now we can pipe all the stuff together. So let's go with the normal mix RGB again with the AO. Go with multiply and one. As you can see, we have no alpha yet. So let's uh, put the alpha here from the uh, from the main color to the alpha. We have to go into the settings and change these to uh, alpha clip and alpha hashed in the shadow. And now we can go ahead and put the specular into the specular. 
Let's search here for a normal map. Put this one into the color and this into the normal. That is our uh, palm here now. And now we can press Ctrl and C and go back into our, uh, our main scene and pressing Ctrl and a V. And here is now our palm tree. So let's put this one outside here. And I want to bring this to a new position, but first let's scale this one up here, pressing S and let's go with the X in the to 3.22. Now we can put this to eight by minus 4.95 and zero. And maybe let's put this little, little back here so we have you know, a little bit more something like this okay let's um pressing shift and d and bring this to the left side to something like 7.5 by 7.8 by minus 0.5 and let's rotate this here to minus 75 and let's <laughs> duplicate this one again pressing shift and d and i want to put this back to uh, 11 by 70.5 by minus 0.2 and let's rotate this to minus 4. Okay that's uh, mainly our scene here now and now we can improve some stuff. Um, first let's go ahead here and create a um, light probe irid iridians volume. I want to put the irradiance volume to 6 in the X and 6 in the Z value and I want to scale this to 10 by 10 by 10 and change the resolution to 6 by 6 by 6. Now we can go into the EV settings and go into the indirect lightning and bake indirect lightning. That will improve here now the light here in the front of our, uh, of our guy and you know, the last thing um, which we can improve is here a uh, reflection plane. So maybe oh, let's go ahead with this one and put this to 6.4 by 0.2. And I want to increase the scale to 10 by 10 by 10 again. We put the distance to 5. Maybe let's enable this. And zero fall off. And when we are changing this here, we can see. Uh, that reflections here on the floor is a little bit better but yeah not for the pool i think but <laughs> yeah it's up to you which one you may like more um yeah okay let's enable this for now and the last thing for this scene is uh, i want to yeah increase the render samples to 128 and i want to go here with the color management and change the look to very high contrast if you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more stuff like this check out and follow my channel if you want to support me check out my gumroad and blender market page see you there and bye